Salt is one of the commonly used flavors in foods which is made up of around 40% sodium and 60% chlorine. Sodium is essential for our muscle and nerve function. Sodium and chlorine together help our body to maintain the proper water and mineral balance. Despite its essential functions, it can be dangerous when consuming too much salt. It can have unpleasant effects on our health in the long and short term. One of the major effects of eating too much salt is high blood pressure, which is related to many heart diseases and stroke. It can also cause calcium losses, which can be pulled from the bone. Frequent urination is one of the main signs of consuming too much salt. If you need to urinate a lot, make sure to minimize salt consumption in your daily routine. Our body only needs 1500 mg of salt every day. but it's found that every person takes almost 3400 mg of water every day how do you know that you're taking too much salt in this video we will see what happens when you eat too much salt hi guys welcome to top news age hit subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications from top news age today we're going to look at what happens when you eat too much salt Let's get started. You are bloated. Bloating is one of the most common short-term effects of eating too much salt. During this condition, your stomach feels swollen and tight. It's responsible for the extra fluid buildup. Sometimes, foods that don't have a salty taste can be high in sodium. These foods include sandwiches, pizza, bagels, and canned soup. All of these are sneaky sources of salt. The effect is usually mild and temporary. You may feel that your jeans fit a little tighter at the waist or a small overnight increase in weight. You have to drink too much water in this condition to balance and normalize the levels. High blood pressure. Your blood pressure can increase due to different reasons, but one of the main reasons is the consumption of too much sodium. This change happens through your kidneys when the high salt level makes it harder for the kidneys to get rid of the fluid that you don't need. As a result, the blood flow in your vessels and arteries increases. This increase in blood pressure can be temporary. However, every individual doesn't experience this effect as it can also depend upon other factors such as genetics and hormones. Older adults have more chances of experiencing high blood pressure due to eating salty foods. You get headaches. Excessive salt consumption can also be responsible for occasional or regular headaches. Some people experience an immediate rise in their blood pressure and headaches are the common symptoms of high blood pressure. Sometimes, the high salt diet makes people more susceptible to headaches. People who consume more salt have the highest frequency of headaches than others. So, if you're eating salty foods, especially processed foods, you may experience headaches or migraine attacks. If you think cutting back on your salt intake helps you to prevent headaches, make sure to speak with your healthcare provider before taking any action. Make you thirsty. The salty food intake makes you thirstier as you may feel parched after having salty food. When our body tries to balance the sodium to water ratio, we feel thirsty. So, drinking much fluid can help you in this condition. On the other hand, Less water intake increases the amount of sodium in the body beyond the safe level and causes the condition known as hyperinatremia. Whenever our brain senses an increase in the blood sodium, it triggers an intense thirst. It's a protective mechanism used by our body to hydrate and lower sodium concentration. But the sugary drinks and your other daily intake can also trigger thirst. So make sure to focus on your daily diet before formulating any plan. Cardiovascular problem. If you're adding too much salt to your food, it can be very harmful to your cardiovascular health in the long run, especially harmful for your heart health. Our body only needs a small amount of salt to function properly, and its high consumption can raise blood pressure. It can raise the pressure on your blood vessels, which means that your heart needs to work harder. This can also lead to high blood pressure, heart attack, and stroke in the worst cases. So, if you have any cardiovascular problem, decrease the table salt consumption and limit the milk, cream, eggs, meat, and shellfish as these are the greater source of sodium. Prone to eczema. Salt can directly impact your skin irritation such as eczema. 
Whenever we consume too much salt, it triggers the immune system to release T cells, leading to a hyperinflammatory response seen in eczema. Many people have sensitive skin, which is impacted by things like stress, the environment, and salty foods. These people can face the red, itchy patches of skin. Even a lot of salt consumption promotes the growth of bad bacteria found in patients who have really bad flare-ups of eczema. Increased risk of stomach cancer. Salty foods such as chips and pretzels can be responsible for stomach aches and vomiting, especially when these are eaten too quickly or in large quantities. They can be responsible for digestive upset and stomach cancer in more serious cases, which are the most common forms of cancer. Our body removes water from our cells when we eat too much salt, which is responsible for diarrhea or stomach cramps. These signs can be more noticeable in the morning or after the salty dinner. So make sure to limit the table salt, rock salt or high sodium foods if you have any stomach issues. Make sure to consult with your doctor before making any plan. Likely to get kidney stones. The regular consumption of too much salt can lead to kidney stones. It's due to an increase in the amount of calcium in our urine. These stones form when this calcium combines with the uric acid or oxalates in the urine and begin to form crystals. These crystals get bigger, become stones, travel to the urinary tract and get stuck. You may experience intense pain until the stone passes. To minimize the risk, you have to look for no salt, low salt or heart healthy options. Usually, doctors recommend foods that contain acetic acid to dissolve kidney stones. But it's recommended to consult with your doctor if you experience any kidney issues. Increased risk of dementia High salt in our body is responsible for an increased level of inflammatory compounds in the brain. This condition can lead us to oxidative damage and begins to hinder blood flow. In worst cases, it can also cause dementia, which reduces your cognitive functioning such as thinking, remembering and reasoning ability. It can affect your daily life as many people with dementia cannot control their emotions and personalities. If you feel any difficulty in your everyday tasks, getting lost or troubling behavior, these can be the warning signs for dementia. You have gained weight. Too much salt intake can also be responsible for weight gain. If you put on pounds quickly or even for a few days, maybe you're eating too much salt. So, if you gain 2 pounds a day or 4 pounds in a week, think back to your food intake during the past few days. It's due to water retention in our body caused by the sodium diet. A high sodium diet causes you to drink less water and be hungrier, which leads you to overeat and more weight gain. Let us know in the comments if you face any of the above listed problems associated with a high salt intake. Hope you enjoyed our video. Please like, comment and share it. See you all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.